Okay, good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to our uh, virtual class for CS6201, which is Computer Organization and Architecture. So this is week one. So let us uh, define first what is computer organization and uh, architecture. So the components from which computer are built so that is the computer organization. So in contrast, the computer architecture is the science of integrating those components to achieve a level of functionality and performance. So it is as if computer organization examines the lumber, the bricks, nails, and other building material. So while computer architecture looks at the design of the house. So what is uh, the difference between the uh, computer architecture and computer organization? So when we say computer art, it is the way uh, hardware and software interact with one another to form a computer system. So whereas the computer organization is uh, related to the structure and behavior of a computer system. The computer architecture acts as an interface between hardware and software, whereas the computer organization, it handles the connection components of the system. So firstly, computer architecture is considered while in designing a computer, whereas in computer organization is built after uh, considering computer architecture. So the computer architecture, uh, it provides us the functionalities of the computer system itself. Whereas the computer org, uh, it helps us to understand uh, how all the units in the system are uh, interconnected. The uh, computer art is uh, all uh, the high level design issue. Okay, so, so it handled by the uh, computer architecture while computer organization is all the low-level design issue, okay? So, so it was handled by the computer org. So that is the difference between the computer organization and the uh, architecture. Okay, on your uh, introduction, we have uh, the evolution of computer systems computer types, functional units, the basic operational concepts, the bus structures, the memory location and addresses, the memory operations, the addressing modes, the design of a computer system, instruction and instruction sequencing, and the RIS or the RISC versus the CISC. Okay, so this chapter discusses the computer hardware, software, and their interconnection. And it also discusses concepts like computer types, evolution of computers, the functional units, the basic operations, the RIS, and the CIS systems. Okay, so let us start with the deep history of computer evolution. So we have two pieces. Uh, first, before the VLSI, so stands for very large scale integration. And second piece is uh, yun nga, yung, uh, VLSI, uh, which uh, from 1978 up to present day. So before the very large scale integration from uh, year 1945 to 1978, uh, we have the 
first uh, generation uh, or general rather purpose computer uh, it is a programmable electronic computer okay, was the ENIAC so the ENIAC stands for electronic numerical integrator and uh, computer so it was uh, built by G. Presper Eckert and John D. Mockley at the University of Pennsylvania so the first generation was the uh, ENIAC. It had been the primary all-purpose electronic computer. So that is intended by Mockley and Eckert in year 1942. So however, the machine was completed in 1945. Then next we have the IAS machine. Was the first electronic computer to be built so it is a machine was a binary computer with a 40-bit word. So storing two 20-bit instructions in each word. So the memory was uh, 10, 24 words. Okay. So the, the machine was uh, started at Princeton in year 1946 and was completed in year 1951. So the machine use the electrostatic storage devices like yung cathode ray tubes so as the main memory so such tubes called william tubes so called each store 24 bits okay yung ating uh, ias machine then we have the ibm so the IBM in full, uh, International Business Machines uh, Corporation. So ito yung leading uh, American computer manufacturer with a, maj a major share of the market both in the United States and abroad. So ang headquarters niyan ay sa New York. Ang IBM is uh, best known uh, best known computer company in the world it began as the uh, computing tabulating and recording company so yung founded by herman holiday in the late 1800s so by ibm was the uh, world leader in providing computer systems for uh, for both business and uh, and scientific applications Next, we have the PDP-8 computer. So appeared in year 1970s, the sixth generation of 12-bit computer uh, from DEC able to run the same software. Uh, the price of this uh, PDP family had dropped to $6,500, so, which made it inexpensive no, enough to serve as an embedded controller for other equipment. So in year 1965, Yung DEC uh, introduced the PDP-8. So the first production model mini computer. So it is a small in physical size. Okay, so selling in minimum configuration for under uh, $20,000 that time. And then second phase, we have the very large scale integration. So which uh, from 1978 up to present day, yung ating microprocessors. So when we say uh, VLSI, it refers to an IC or technology with many devices on one chip. So ito ay uh, circuits okay, are used uh, everywhere in real applications. So include yung ating mga microprocessors in a personal computer or workstation or in chips, in a graphic card, or in a digital camera or camcorder. So yung mga chips in a cell phone or in a portable computing device and embedded processors in an auto uh, mobile or any uh, 
computing devices. So itong uh, very large scale integration, ito yung uh, process of creating an integrated circuit by combining millions of uh, MOS transistors onto a single chip. So it began in the uh, year 1970s when MOS integrated circuit chips were widely adopted. So it enabling complex in mga semiconductor and telecommunication technologies to be uh, developed. So the microprocessor, we all know it is uh, any of a type of miniature electronic device that contains the ALU or the arithmetic logic unit or the control circuitry. So of course, to perform the functions of a digital computer central processing unit. So the production of inexpensive microprocessors enable computer engineers to develop yung mga microcomputers. So the microprocessor, it controls all functions of the central processing unit or the CPU of a computer or other uh, digital device. So ito yung ating uh, brain of the computer. So the microprocessor uh, function as an artificial brain. So the entire function of the CPU is controlled by a single integrated circuit. So next, uh, we have the first generation from 1945 to 1955. So the program and data reside in the same memory. So stored program concepts, okay, by John von Neumann. So who is uh, John von Neumann? So see, si John von Neumann is best known for uh, his work in the early development of computers. So as director of the electronic computer project at the Princeton Institute for Advanced Study, he developed uh, a maniac or yung mathematical analyzer, numerical integrator, and computer. So also in the uh, first generation, they introduced the the ALP, okay? The ALP was made use to write programs. So it is uh, an assembly language. It is a type of uh, low-level programming language that is intended to communicate directly with a computer's hardware. So unlike machine language, which uh, consists of binary and hexadecimal characters, Assembly languages are designed to be uh, readable by humans. And then they introduce the uh, vacuum tubes, okay? Used to implement the functions of the ALU and the uh, control unit design. A vacuum uh, tube computer, so in first generation computer is a computer that uses a vacuum tubes for logic circuitry. So although uh, superseded by second generation, nagkaroon na kasi ng mga transistorized computers. So the vacuum tube computers continued to be built into the 1960s. So these computers were mostly one of a kind of designs no so in first generation computers okay they use the vacuum tubes as the basic components for memory and circuitry for a central processing unit for the arithmetic logic unit and the control unit design and they also introduce yung mga magnetic core and magnetic tape storage devices so ito namang mga memory na to was the uh, predominant form of 
uh, RAM or random access sa uh, computer memory for 20 years, okay? Between uh, 1955 and 1975. Yung ating magnetic core and uh, magnetic tape uh, storage devices. And then we have the using the electronic vacuum tubes as the switching components. So an electronic uh, device that controls the flow of electrons in a vacuum. So it is used as a switch amplifier or display screen or yung CRT. So CRT stands for cathode ray tube. So uh, it is used as on op switches. The vacuum tubes allow the first computers to perform digital computations. Then in second generation of computers from 1955 to 1965. Okay, so they introduced yung ating mga transistors to design the ALU and CU. And then we have the HLL, uh, HLL which is the high level language is used for uh, yung mga Fortran na programming languages. So yung ating mga transistor is a binary switch and the fundamental building block of computer circuitry. And also, uh, the high-level uh, language or high-level language is the programming language to nga, such as yung mga Fortran, C, uh, or Pascal that enables a programmer to write programs so that are more or less ind independent of a particular type of computer. So yung mga languages na yan are uh, considered uh, high-level because they are uh, closer to human languages and uh, farther from machine languages. Okay, then they also introduce yung ating mga compilers to convert the high level language to uh, MLL compiler. So, they are uh, using the uh, compilers to convert the high-level language code to machine uh, language code in one session. So it means that uh, the compilers can take a while because they have to translate high-level code to lower-level la machine language uh, code at once and then save the executable object code to memory. So the main difference of uh, high-level language and low-level language is that the programmers can easily understand or interpret or compile the high-level language in comparison of machine. So on the other hand, machine can easily understand the low-level language in comparison of human beings. And then... Uh, in second generation, of course, they introduced yung mga I.O. processor okay, to operate in parallel with CPU okay, to improve the performance. So the input-output processor or the I.O. processor is a processor separate from the CPU designed to handle only the input and output processes for a device or the computer. So the I.O. processor is capable of performing actions without interruption or intervention from the central processing unit. So the I.O. is a major factor in system performance. And also in second generation, introduce the, uh, the invention of the transistor, which was faster. So smaller and required uh, less power to operate. So ito na mga transistor na ito was uh, successfully 
uh, first demonstrated on the December 23, 1947 at Bell Laboratories in Murray Hill, uh, New Jersey, Bell Laboratories. So by uh, the research arm of American Telephone and Telegraph, which is the AT&T, the three individuals credited with the invention of the transistor uh, were William Shapley, John Bardeen, and Walter Bratain. And then in third generation of computers from 1965 to 1975, okay, they introduced the IC technology improved. Uh, they improved the IC technology help in designing low cost, high speed processor and memory modules. And then we have multi uh, programming pipelining concepts were incorporated. Then they introduced the this operating system allowed efficient and coordinate operation of computer system with multiple users. And then yung cache and virtual memory concepts were developed and more than one circuit on a single silicon chip became available okay, in third generation of computers. So we all know that the IC technology uh, reduced nga yung size of circuits. So compared to the circuit size built using discrete components. So ito na yung mga advanced uh, microcontroller, IC technology, reduce the size of circuits by replacing many integrated circuits in the circuit with a single microcontroller IC. So itong mga IC na to are a combination of diodes microprocessors uh, and transistors in a minimized form on a made of silicon. So each of these components has a specific function. So uh, they can allow a certain amount of voltage into the circuit with the use of a gate to open at a particular voltage. And of course, uh, in uh, third generation, yun nga at, yun nga ating uh, multi-programming. It is a form of uh, parallel uh, processing. So in which yung mga several uh, programs are run at the, the same time on a uniprocessor. So instead, the operating system executes parts of a one program, then uh, part of another and uh, so on. So to the user, it appears that all programs are executing at the same time. And the this operating system also, uh, it is a computer operating system that resides on and can use a disk storage device. So ano ba yung ating mga disk operating system such as yung mga floppy disk a uh, hard disk drive or optical disk. So a disk operating system must provide a file system for organizing, uh, reading, and writing files on the storage disk. And the cache and virtual memory. Uh, it is uh, a memory unit and it is very fast to access no ating mga cache memory whereas the virtual memory is a technique and involves hard disk and is slower to access the cache memory is small in size size of virtual memory is much uh, larger than cache memory And then in uh, fourth generation of computers from year 1975 to 1985, they introduced the central processing unit, okay, term as microprocessor. So the CPU fabricated on one or more chips containing the basic arithmetic, logic, and control elements of a computer. 
that are required for processing of data. So we all know that all kinds of computing devices, such as yung ating mga tablets, yung mga personal computers or laptops, uh, or laptops uh, features. So it is the, uh, the brain uh, unit called the central processing unit or the CPU. So your computer's CPU uh, calculates and interprets instructions. So while you're surfing the web, while you're creating documents, and uh, while you're playing games or running software programs, okay? So the CPU act as the brain of the uh, computer. And also in fourth generation, in introduce yung mga Intel, Motorola, Texas, National uh, Semiconductor started uh, developing the microprocessor, the workstations, the microprocessor for personal computer and notebook computers, and the interconnection of different computers for better communication, which is the local area network, the metropolitan area network, and wide area network, and the computational speed increased by uh, 1,000 times. And they also introduced the specialized processors like digital signal processor. So ito na mga ating mga specialized uh, processors uh, may be uh, optimized for a single task or made uh, flexible to perform a range of tasks. Okay, then beyond the fourth generation, okay, from 1985 till date, so they introduced the e-commerce, the e-banking, the home office, the, the ARM, the AMD, the Intel, the Motorola, the high-speed processor, the gigahertz speed because of uh, sub-micron IC technology, a lot of added features in a small size. Okay, in a uh, fourth generation up to date. So they introduced the, the ARM or the AMD. So the AMD is uh, partnering with ARM to develop a broader ecosystem for data center environments. So an AMD is a start for uh, Samsung, but the company does not have a great ARM uh, CPU solution. So do you have any idea what are the uh, best uh, CPU? Okay, so based on my uh, research, we have the AMD uh, 64 core, uh, the fastest processor on the market. The AMD 64 core with 128 threads, which is the Ryzen uh, thread reaper for desktop personal computer processor. So it is considered the world's fastest CPU in year 2021. So alam ko naman may iba pa kayong uh, idea kung ano pa yung ibang fastest processor on the market for the year 2021. And then uh, also we have uh, yung mga best desktop computer. So based on my research, yung mga best personal computer, we have Dell XPS Desktop uh, Special Edition for uh, best gaming uh, PC, yung Alienware Aurora Ryzen Edition, yung R10. And then we have best all-in-one personal computer, yung iMac 24 inches 2021. And for best budget gaming personal computer is we have yung Dell G5 gaming desktop. And for best budget mini personal computer, yung ating Lenovo, yung uh, mini 5i, and best mini personal computer, yung Intel Ghost uh, Hanyona, and yung ating best mid-range gaming personal computer, yung Lenovo uh, Legion Tower 5i. So based lang naman yan sa aking research for best desktop computer.
And then we have the computer types. So computers are classified based on the parameters like uh, speed of operation, uh, cost, computational power, and type of application. So all uh, processor naman sold today for uh, computers running the Windows operating system. Okay, so our 32-bit. And also, lahat naman ng desktop computers can cost, uh, let's say, mga 25,000 uh, up above. No, so depende sa ano yun. Depending on how good its inside components are. So, ang typical uh, gaming PC will cost you between in in let's say hundred to one fifty thousand dollars or two hundred thousand. So, however, if you want to run high end games, of course, so mas mas malaki mas mahal yung uh, laptop or computer. So, depende okay, sa components of the computer. Okay, so another type of uh, computer, we have the desktop computer. So, um, processing and storage units, visual display and audio units, keyboards, the storage, media, hard disk, CD-ROMs. So, example, in our personal computers, which is used in homes and offices. So, the advantages, it is uh, cost-effective, easy to operate, uh, suitable for general purpose, educational, or business application. And then we have notebook computer. It is compact form of personal computer like laptop. The advantage is its portability. As a mga notebook computer is a battery or AC powered personal computer. So generally smaller than a yung mga briefcase, di ba? That can be easily be uh, transported and conveniently used in uh, temporary spaces like in airplanes, in libraries, or in temporary offices. So alam na natin yan na yung laptop is uh, greatly in size. Okay, so featuring yung mga screen sizes niya, measuring uh, from 10 inches to 18 inches yung ating mga notebook laptops. Then next, we have workstation. So more computational power than personal computer, costlier and used to solve complex problems which arises in engineering application. Yung graphics, CAD, and CAM, and uh, etc. So yung mga workstation has a uh, high performance computer system. So basically designed for a single user and has advanced graphics capabilities, large storage capacity, and a powerful central processing unit. Whereas the enterprise system, which is the mainframe, more computational power, larger storage capacity used for business data processing in large organization. So commonly referred as servers or supercomputers. So ito namang ating mga mainframes are more uh, with high performance uh, computers with a large amounts of memory and processors that process billions of simple calculations and transactions in a real time. So the mainframe is critical to commercial databases, transaction servers, and applications that require a high uh, security. So examples of mainframe computers include the IBM Z series, the system Z9 and system Z10 servers. Next, we have server system. 
So it supports large volumes of data which frequently need to be accessed or to be modified. So it supports request, response, operation. So the server is a computer or a system that provides resources, that provides you mga data and services or programs to other computers known as clients. So over a network. So whenever computers uh, share resources with client machines, they are considered servers and tawag doon. So this means that a uh, device could be both a server and a client at the same time. So ibig sabihin yung servers are computers that run services to serve the needs of other computers. So there are, uh, for example, yung mga home media servers, uh, web servers, and, and print servers. So the, there are also file servers and database servers. So those are the examples. And then next we have the supercomputers. So faster than mainframes. It helps in calculating large scale numerical and algorithm calculation in short span of time. It is used for aircraft design and testing, military application, and weather forecasting. So ito namang supercomputer is a computer with a high level of performance as compared to a general purpose computer, as compared to mainframes. So the supercomputer computers were uh, introduced in the 1960s and for several decades, the fastest, okay? Next, we have the handheld, also called a PDA or personal digital assistant. So a computer that fits into a packet runs on batteries and is used while holding the unit in your hand. So typically used as an appointment book, address book, calculator, and notepad. It can be synchronized with a personal microcomputer as a backup. So a handheld uh, computer, it is a computer that can be conveniently uh, be stored in a packet. So from the definition itself, no? so that is the personal digital assistant. Okay, the basic terminology, okay, so about uh, computer, okay, so what is a software, what is a hardware, what is a network and peripheral devices. And another basic terminology about input, data, information, output, processing, memory, and uh, storage. And also the basic terminology about the assembly language program, the mnemonic okay, instruction would be in the form of English-like form. So what is assembler, what is the high-level language and compiler? Okay, so what is an uh, interpreter and what is a system software and what is uh, operating system? 